Hi everyone, my husband and I are heading to Paris next week. We live in London and decided to take the Eurostar, which is an underwater railway from London to Paris, taking two hours. My husband and I bought the away carry-on luggage suitcase, as you can see here. I got the carry-on and he got the bigger carry-on. We decided to each get different sides so we can pick and choose when we wanted to travel lightly. Plus, they both fit in the overhead bins. We opted to pay extra for the portable charger. It's convenient to travel with an additional ejectable power source. This one comes with two USB ports. It's also great because you can use it even without your suitcase, which we do each time we travel. It has a really durable hard shell and 360 degree spinner wheels that ensure a very smooth ride. Another great feature of the Away Carry-On suitcase is the TSA approved combination lock, which provides you with extra safety. It's easy to open and close, and the only people getting in the suitcase are you and TSA. Away will provide you with instructions on how you can open and close your luggage with your own secured lock. Inside the suitcase, there are two compartments. On the left, the zip mesh compartment is used to store hard, bulky items like shoes, toiletries, or bigger electronics. And then the right side is for clothing, pretty much anything soft and squishy. It's nice because this compression pad allows you to pack everything in super tightly. This mesh zip is also perfect for travel papers, iPads, laptops, or anything flat. Plus, they provide you with this hidden water-resistant laundry bag, which makes packing that much easier when you're on the go. It's actually a really decent size, so you could store shoes in it or any other items if need be. To me, the best part of the luggage is this mesh pouch. Inside the pouch is a passport-shaped handbook basically talking you through how to get to know your bag inside and out. No pun intended. It instructs how to work your lock and portable charger, shows you the strength and durability of your luggage, as well as it describes the warranty. My husband and I travel frequently, so it was a game changer for us that Away provides a lifetime warranty. It covers any damage to the shell, wheels, handles, or zippers. They also give you 100 days to try out the luggage to see if you like it, and you can return it if you want a different color, which I did. I went from pink to black. Additionally, they provide you with adapters, so you can charge your portable charger wherever you are. There are four international adapters that work in over 150 countries, which is extremely essential if you're constantly on the go. Also, travel adapters can be so expensive. They also give you a magic eraser so you can remove all the scrapes and dirt from your luggage. Okay, now to packing. I usually start by checking the weather for where I'm headed to make sure everything I am packing is seasonably appropriate. Paris will be about 55 and sunny every day, so I'll pack warm but comfortable clothes and will layer up each outfit with my tailored coat. When my husband and I go on holiday, we constantly check the weather of our destination. A lot of the times that we travel to warm and sunny locations, the location ends up being cold and raining, so we chalk it up to us jinxing it because we're always checking the weather up, hoping that is not the case for Paris since we mostly get around by foot. I like to lay all my outfits out so I can see if I have too much or too little outfits for each day. If I have events planned for my trip, such as going to a show, going for a hike, or a spa day, I make sure I have outfits that are appropriate for what I'm doing that day. I then split the outfits between pants and tops. I use packing bags so it's helped me stay organized and I know what is in what. I fold the clothes in rectangles so they don't get too wrinkled while they're packed away, yet they are easily accessible. I used to roll my clothes, but now I feel like this is a mixture between rolling and folding. I find it hard to roll certain items like turtlenecks or shorts, so my creativity is involved, but once it's there, it's easier to keep all of the items consistent. For Paris, I will need day outfits and night outfits. I am bringing three pairs of pants that I can mix and match my shirts and sweaters with. I also am bringing two pairs of leggings, one for sleeping and one for the travel home or if I wanted a comfortable outfit to walk around in. For tops, I'm bringing three basic shirts, two sweaters that I can use as layers, and then one casual sweatshirt for lounging around. I usually make game time decisions when deciding my outfits for a trip, so it can be really nice to have options. However, this mindset gets me in trouble sometimes as I can become a serious overpacker if I don't take the time to walk through what I'm doing on my trip. 
I make up scenarios like, oh, I could wear this shirt then or these pants if I do this. So I've learned to give myself more time when I pack. I've also seen lots of cost savings since I rarely check a bag. Also, most of our holidays are pretty quick weekend trips to places in Europe, so I don't need to pack too much. I typically travel in pretty much the same thing every time, joggers and a sweatshirt. None of these items are shown because I've already set them aside as my travel outfits. I also set aside larger items. In this case, I set aside my pattern blazer that I'll be bringing and I'll add that to my luggage at the very end. I found it easier to pack larger items like jackets or sweaters and save them for the end when you can see how much room you have left. It's easy to fill spaces with sweaters since you can fry them in. One tip I've learned from traveling is to always wear your biggest items on the plane. When we've gone skiing, I wear my ski coat, ski sweatshirt, hat, and snow boots on the flight. Although I end up spending my flight baking with warmth, I save so much room in my luggage. For Paris, I'll be traveling in my Adidas sneakers and will bring an extra pair of nice loafers. Paris is more of a walking city, so I want to keep it comfortable for the weekend. Also, I definitely will be bringing my beret. Now that my clothing is packed, I move on to undergarments. Obviously, how much undergarments you pack depends on the length of your stay and what you're doing. Sadly, I won't be staying anywhere with a pool or hot tub, but I typically would pack one to two swimsuits if I was headed somewhere with those amenities. I pack all of these items into a drawstring bag that came as part of a packing bag set that I got on Amazon. I've had this set for about four years and they've lasted this long, which has been super great. Next is toiletries. I have definitely made my fair share of mistakes one too many times of forgetting my toothbrush, toothpaste, or face wash while I'm away. I've learned my lesson and I started to keep all of my travel size toiletries together in one bag and I don't ever take them out of the bag. Over the years, I've collected any sample size items that I have received from makeup or skincare brands such as cleansers, moisturizers, and use them as my travel toiletries. As you can see, I'm obsessed with Elemis, and majority of my skincare is Elemis. So anytime I place an order and I end up getting their free sample size items, I use them in these instances and I'll travel with these as my toiletries. As I mentioned, I will be traveling in my Adidas sneakers, so the extra set of shoes that I'll be bringing are my loafers, which are comfortable yet dressier than my sneakers. Also, I always put my shoes in drawstring bags since it's a lot cleaner. I love packing my accessories. I like to wear lots of headbands and different clips since I typically don't ever wear my hair down. I also pack the same little drawstring bag of jewelry even though I typically wear the same gold hoops and gold necklace every day. I pack all of these items in this fanny pack just in case I need to use the fanny pack while I'm there. It also helps save a lot of space by doing this. Usually I don't bring a curling iron or straightener on trips, but since I have extra space for this trip, I thought I would bring it. To pack it all up, I will start by adding in my packing bags that are filled with my clothes on the left side. I will then pull the straps together tightly to compress my clothes on that side and save some room. Next, I will go to the accessory side and add in my undergarment bag, my shoes, I'll wedge in my toiletries, I added my curling iron and brush, wedged in the away mesh case full of adapters. I last minute decided to add in some leather gloves and then my accessories that are packed into my fanny pack. Before I zipped it, I remembered I needed to add in my blazer, so I put that right on top and the away luggage zipped up perfectly. Lastly, I pack all of my electronics and everything that I will keep in my backpack. I lay out all the electronics and most important items. No matter if I go on a train, car ride, or flight, I keep this stuff in my backpack so I can have it on me at all times. I got my laptop and laptop charger, iPad, charger and AirPods, my Polaroid and extra film, any chargers that I'll need. I'll bring a book if I'm reading one at the time. Right now I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing. Most importantly, my passport, I have an eye mask if it's a morning red eye flight or if I'm taking a train in the middle of the day. My mom always brought a rosary when she traveled, so I've inherited that trait now. Some gum, sunglasses, and then my toiletry bag of makeup, which I never remove anything out of it. 
I also packed an umbrella because Europe is notorious for its wet, unpredictable weather. I really wish I could be one of those stylish influencers or Instagram models who bring cute totes with them when they travel. However, that is just not me. I have totes, but I find them uncomfortable to carry when I'm traveling. I also have been packing the same exact items in this same backpack for years, and the system I have built has never failed me. Habitually, I now know where everything is and it makes me feel stress-free because I know things are not out of place. After countless amounts of trips, I think that's all we hope for and why we pack the way we do is to reduce our stress and help us get there in one piece. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching and you are leaving with some helpful packing and travel tips. Thank you!